Hey folks, it's Frithcar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Ravenport. We have got our field fertilised up there. We've got our chickens with pallets over there. We've got our lorry has just now come back and all we need to do is unload those pallets down onto the sheep's wool area down there and... They're all done. We don't need to worry about them anymore. There is... We've got all our horses. They're doing fine. But what I'd like to do... I've just been looking. Um, I want to buy this land up here next. We're getting to the point where we're not going to be able to provide food and bedding and so on for our animals. This is not an acceptable way to be, right? This, this is completely unacceptable. We have our animals. It is our responsibility to look after them. We're... We've got grass right there that we can use for making hay for the, um, the sheep and for the horses. And we will be doing some of that. It's just that we did decide to go and buy one load just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, we've got a few bales that are up at the field that we went and bought. So we're going to go and just gather those up as our very first thing. Before I actually start gathering though, I'm just going to stop right there. Um, I was also looking at some contract jobs, you know, different contract jobs that we've got available. Now, those are quite involved, the baling ones. Um, the fertilizing, again, it is a fairly involved job. You do have to get the stuff and, and load it and everything. I mean, I suppose we could do it reasonably quickly. But I like the look of this one. Cultivating job on field eight. Yeah, we get a huge great big cultivator, a massive great big T9 that we can go and play around with as well. If we borrow the items, it does mean that we're going to lose three grand on our overall price. But, I mean, we'll still walk away with about $7,000. If you take out the um, three grand there, it takes it down to eight. We'll probably spend about a thousand on hired help. So we will borrow items like that. And we go this way to the... There we go. Right. New Holland T9. Look at that. Absolute beast of a machine. Plus we've got the cultivator there as well. Wonderful, wonderful piece of kit. There we go. We'll hook that one onto there like that. Absolutely fantastic. And we will start getting up towards field 8. So while I am cruising on up here, a question that I will be asking you all this week about a change that could possibly come to the channel. I don't know if I made that absolutely clear in yesterday's video. Yesterday I was in a very rambling sort of mood, so I rambled on about all sorts of things and, and, and chopped and changed subjects, so I apologise if it came across a little confusing. Um, there is a change that might be coming to the channel. I might be doing more live streaming on this channel, but this is only going to be if it's something that everybody really, really wants. Right, if nobody wants this, then we'll stick with what we got, and we'll work around that. But if a lot of people do like the idea, then we could make some changes, and I could do some more live streaming. Now, I'm aware that live streaming, I'm, I've already started to get a little bit of feedback on this, right, and uh, on the Discord, because I posted it onto the Discord as well, I'm getting feedback on the Discord. And so I've started to get some feedback on this from the Discord and what people think on there. One of the um, big ones is, uh, you know, it's, it's not easy to make the timing of a stream. And it's a very long thing to watch back. Now, if I was to do this, I was thinking I would try and do... Um, do the live stream, but at the same time record it myself, record it onto my own computer. Then cut the live stream up into 30 minute or 45 minute slots and upload those as uh, regular videos alongside two other videos per day. If I was to be doing live streaming, I would not be cutting out all the pre-recorded videos. Okay, I like making these videos and there are some series and stuff that I just don't think would work all that well as a pre-recorded video. I think it would work better as, uh, sorry, wouldn't work well as a live stream. I think it works better as a pre-recorded video. Um, like live streams, things with heavy storylines to follow along, 
Um, that works better if it's just me and the computer and I'm working through it like that rather than worrying about other people's feedback. Something like Farming Simulator, I think, can work either way. It does depend on how I do the stream. If I've got a lot of interaction going on with people, um, that can make a difference, and it can be, as people have already pointed out, it's not quite so good watching it back after the fact. And I do appreciate that. So it's it would be about achieving a balance, and I definitely would not be removing all pre-recorded content. My aim... Well, the, the idea at the moment would be to do continue doing two videos per day and have more live streams. Um, and it might be that it changes more than that. I don't know. But that's the aim at the moment, right? That's all I can tell you at the moment is more live streams and two pre-recorded videos per day. Now, if it does work well, maybe we would do slightly less pre-recorded videos and more of the live streams if I'm able to record them and just edit them ever so slightly to upload. There wouldn't be a lot of editing in them, I'll tell you that. Um, but it, this is just a suggestions phase, right? We're just at the moment, we're, I'm putting out feelers, I'm trying to find out what people want, how you want content to develop, because I get asked so much to do more live streams. I cannot do more live streams and not change anything else, right? So I need to know how important these live streams are to people, what you want from them. Do you want, um, like, I mean, I it would sort of be around the weekends and... Also, I would aim to not just do evenings my time, right? There would be days where I would do uh, early morning my time. Well, I say early morning. It would probably be from 9, 9 a.m. GMT, so roughly 11 hours earlier than I start the Friday live stream. Um, do another live stream on another day, which would allow a different time zone to get in on the evening and I appreciate that you know it's still not ideal I would try to adjust and I wouldn't do this every week uh, most of the live streams would end up being in the evenings because that's the optimal time for me to do it but I can do some live streams maybe every other week do a live stream at a different time that would work a lot better for other time zones there are you know it's, it's all possibilities Nothing is set in stone. Nothing is decided. Right? I just want to absolutely make that clear. Nothing is yet decided. And nothing will be decided for a while. At the moment, I want your feedback. I want you to tell me everything that you think of regarding this. Do you really... I've already had people saying that they don't like live streams. Um, they can't really catch the live streams on the time that I record them. Uh, or I, I broadcast them, rather, and um, they don't like watching them back. They would rather I just left things as they are. Excellent. That's feedback. That's what I want. I can work with that. I've had other people saying they absolutely love this idea and they want lots more live streams. And they don't watch all that many of my pre-recorded videos anyway, so it wouldn't really make any difference. Excellent. That's feedback. I can work with that. See, see where I'm going with this? There is no bad feedback on this, right? So long as you don't swear in the comments, because that'll just get your comment blocked. Uh, but we all know that anyway, so don't... Right, don't feel that you're going against the grain by expressing your own opinion. There is no wrong opinion on this. I want to know everybody's thoughts, and this is why I'm talking about this in every single video I do this week. Because this is such a huge and significant thing that I am discussing... Um, therefore, I want a huge and significant number of people to give me their views on this, right? This is not just a one-off, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, on a whim type thing. This is going to require careful thought, careful planning, how to do this best if I do do this at all, right? So that there's an if there as well. I may not do this at all. It does depend on the feedback I get. While I'm at it... While you're doing this, are there any changes that you'd like made? I have been getting comments lately saying that they, you know, a lot of people would prefer shorter videos. Keep the pre-recorded stuff, but do shorter videos. Three videos a day at 30 minutes each, rather than 45 minutes to an hour, would be preferable. 
there are others of you who don't like the shorter videos. So again, give me thoughts and views on that because maybe I could do some live streams and do shorter videos. If I was doing 30 minute videos each time, that would make a difference. Now you all know by this point my recording format. I record for at most about an hour. Then I edit the video and I upload the video. So it's not far off of the live stream except that I don't have the people interacting with me whilst I'm recording. I'm interacting with the computer and leaving it, leaving it at that. It's very rare that I have a game running for more than an hour to make any of my videos anyway. Uh, very, very rare. And you all know this by now. I did start going down that road, but it wasn't. it's not the type of content that I like to make. Um, and it's now not the type of content that this channel is known for. So if I was to do shorter videos, say 25 to 30 minutes each, and that would really reduce the amount of time that I have to spend recording and editing, therefore I could free up some time to do some additional um, live streams. Now, I don't know how much because we all know that once I'm playing a game, I kind of get into something and then I lose track of time and I end up going over time anyway. Um, but, I mean, it could that could also be a possibility. So don't rule anything out. If you've got suggestions, if you've got ideas, get them into the comments section. Most of all, I want feedback on the idea of doing more live streams and less pre-recorded videos. What do you think of this, right? I'm not cutting out all of the pre-recorded videos. That is an absolute given. There is no way I'm cutting out all of the videos, okay? That's just not going to happen. I don't want it to happen. I like making pre-recorded videos. Um, the Long Dark, for example, that would absolutely not work as a live stream format. I'm sure some people can, some people can pull it off, but the way I like to play that game and the way that I like to pursue it it would not work for me doing it as a live stream. I wouldn't want to live stream that game, right? Games that are like that, that are um, tense and they have that, you've got that sort of in environment around you at all times. It's not the kind of thing I want to be doing a live stream with, right? I would not enjoy live streaming that at all because I wouldn't be able to get into the game. I would not be able to experience the full environment of that game if I was live streaming it. It would it just wouldn't work for me. Right, I'm gonna start from the short side. Or should I? No, I'm not, actually I'm not. I was I was just thinking I should start from the short side because it's not going to finish the field off, but I think we'll be alright. So I'm just going to do one more run along here. That is, why has my vehicle already got damage on it? I mean look look at that. It's like a quarter damage taken on it already. Is it was? Did I get it like that, or has it already deteriorated that much since I started work? I'm hoping I got it like that. I'm hoping it turned up like that when I first started, because if it's deteriorated by a quarter just doing that one run up there, we're in serious trouble, right? We are in some serious trouble if that's what it's like. Uh, I'm a bit concerned now. We're also only doing 8 miles an hour. I thought these things went a bit faster than that. There is Actually, there's a way to find that out. I can go into here, and I can go into here, and I can go into cultivators right there. And I can have a look at the one that we're using right now, which is the Horse Cruiser 12 XL, I think. Does it tell me? Uh, it doesn't actually tell me what I'm driving. Does it tell me on here? If I go there, 12XL, right. So I want to go to cultivators, and we want to go to the 12XL there, 9 miles an hour. Right, so it's it's not far off. It's not far off, right. It's saying 8 miles an hour. It's 8-ish, 9-ish, something like that. So it's, it's, it's pretty close. Uh, so yeah, get into the comment section and give me your thoughts and views. And like I said, nothing is yet decided. No decisions have been made. This is a consultation phase. Okay, I'm consulting. And as you are the viewers, as you are the people who support this channel, and without you this channel would not exist, 
the consultation naturally needs to occur with you being heavily involved. So, do it. Go for it. Be consulted. Get into the comments section. Give me your opinions. And please remember, above all else, respect everybody else's opinions. There are going to be a lot of different opinions on this. There are going to be a lot of different views. Some of you are going to love it. Some of you are going to hate it. There is no wrong opinion. I want to hear everybody's, and I do not want to see abuse of other people in this comment section. We don't get abuse of other people in the comment section. We have minor disagreements from time to time, but we do not get abuse. So please do not allow this to break that rule and that record. We have done that. I'm absolutely proud of what this, what we have achieved as a community here and I feel that we're very tolerant of everybody else's views. And I do not want that to start changing now because I'm asking something that could potentially create some very strong differences of opinion. And so I put your own opinion, but I don't want people, I don't want comments going up saying, oh, that one's wrong. You, no, you can't have it like that. Because I want to hear everybody's views. And I don't want anybody knocked because their view is different to somebody else's. And... I just want to make this absolutely clear, not because I think that people might do it, but because I've already had people telling me in private messages, I think this, but I didn't want to say it publicly because I don't want to feel, you know, I feel that people might get upset with me. No, we're not going to get upset with you, right? If this community as a whole, if this, if, if this community is anything like I've come to know and respect and really genuinely love, this community is not going to be knocking people for expressing an opinion. That is just not something that I feel happens on this channel. Or at least it shouldn't happen on this channel. And if it does, I will be stamping it out. Um, you are free to express whichever opinion you want. Including that you don't like my idea. That's what I'm that's why I'm asking you. Okay, so I I just I just want to make sure everybody is on the same page and everybody is actually comfortable with the idea of giving me an honest answer that's all i'm asking for is an honest response then i can take all of that information and i can come up with a plan okay i cannot work on this i cannot develop this any further i can't do anything until i've had a load of feedback um i don't like the idea of just shooting in the dark and hoping that people will like it i prefer to find out what people want and then try to reach a good middle ground that will keep as many i know we can't please everybody okay everybody knows we can't please everybody but i'm hoping that if i do this right i can please as many people as possible that's all i'm really hoping for on this right our tractor right here well it's not ours technically it's but anyway he's he's going to keep working now we've we've done um some outside rounds we've done two passes which is enough for him to be able to turn round here on the end of the field that's absolutely perfect that's what i want we've got a beautiful big t9 working in the field which i'm going to get a screenshot of right now because we haven't had a t9 in the screenshot for absolutely ages and i know some of you are absolute new holland fans so a T9 in a screenshot would look quite pretty. I think we will go... We've seen that the cultivator before, but having the T9 itself in a screenshot, sort of the, the, the main beastie. Uh, no, I don't want to press that. I want to press 9. There we go. The main beastie right there in the screenshot, I think that is a rather nice picture. Okay. I can now quickly and easily identify that when I come to edit. So there you go. That's a that's um that's that's kind of what the editing I do is I don't go through with a, a, a fine tooth comb and pick everything out because I just don't have time. Okay, little secret. I just don't have time. If I got to stop and cough, I put in a five second gap so that I see the gap in the audio and then I know to chop that bit out. And that's it. All right. That's 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 the kind of editing I do. So if I was to do thirty minute videos. I wouldn't still be doing an hour of content. Somebody suggested that once. Um, you could do more videos because you could, you know, cut out more of it. Well, no, actually. I'm really sorry. It's a great idea and all, but um, I can't do that. Because if I'm still doing the same amount of gameplay and cutting out more of the video, the only thing that's happening is that less content is being uploaded. I'm still playing the same amount of the game. And that's not what I want to do. 
That's not that's that's not the way that I do it. I'm I, I don't do highlight videos. I I know that some people come along to the channel wanting a typical highlight video, you know, three hours of gameplay cut down to twenty minutes. And that can look good. And it can be an enjoyable video. Other people don't want that. Other people want the kind of format that I do. So if I was to cut down to 30 minute videos, it would be 30 minutes of gameplay. Uh, or maybe 40 minutes of gameplay some days cut to 30 minutes. But that would that's, that's how I would do it. That's how I would proceed. So you'd still get the videos. It's just that it may take us a little bit longer to get through some of the series. Um, so, yeah, you know, the, every single option has sort of got pros and cons. All right. Next, what I want to do is that field, we're just going to ignore that field because that is eventually going to become chickens. I've done a load of leveling work here, and I'm not going to do any more leveling work there at the moment. What I'm going to do from sort of this point on is I'm going to place the chicken pens down, um, just sort of slot them into the hillside where they will go, and then from that point we will build some tracks and, and carve some, some roads up to them. So that it, it, it sort of does it along those lines. Now, I've got some straw right there, which I'm going to leave right there. I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm going to bring these bales down here, down next to our horses down here. And I'm going to put them in. I'm going to try and unload these right behind that round bale. Now, this could be tricky, right? Because it's not very even right there. So we could... Fortunately, we don't have a full stack. Right, so that's that's a, a positive. We don't have a full stack, um, but the the issue comes with stability of the machine. Now, it like I said, it should be all right because we don't have a full stack. It's not going to be overly top heavy, so we should be all right. DLC, the DLC has been announced, and as usual, there was a whole load of hate messages on um, Facebook, which you kind of expect. It, it always seems to be the same though. Why don't you give us these maps? Well, giants go, here you go, have some maps. No, 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 not, 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 not those maps exactly. I want maps like this. Okay, well, the, the modders are making these maps. Release more maps. So they release more maps from modders. No, no, I want maps from here. Release these machines. Release those machines. Release, the, you know, and it's, it's just this constant ongoing thing. Giants are releasing a load of mods, right? They're, they're releasing hundreds of mods. They're releasing loads and 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 loads of mods all the time. They're releasing several, yeah, uh, like almost daily we're getting new mods. They're working through the mod list. They got a list of 250 mods. They're not the ones who've submitted all these mods. These mods have been submitted by modders. So if they've got 17 um, balers and different types of trailers all in a row come up on their mod list. They're not going to s bump them down to the bottom end again and stop that particular modder from having his mod on the mod hub. They're going to just work through them. If you want different mods, you've got to submit them. Or you go and go make your own. But this particular group of mods from this is the Anderson Group mods. They look amazing. Right, they really do. I mean, what have we got in in there? We, we, there's things that people want. We've got the we've got the wrapper, right? There is a wrapper in there. Now you're going to have a look. Duck Zorley, he did a, a video review where he went to the Anderson Group and actually showed what the real ones look like. So you got this kind of wrapper thing, okay? And instead of it being like this, you've got a bed along the bottom where you put a bale onto it, all right? And then you've got this great big circle that goes all the way around it like that and it's got like five or four or five different um things for wrap on there all the way around it and it's just sort of going round in a great big circle around the bale it only does the side of the bale so you keep pushing more bales onto it you you go and get your loader and you bring a bale up and you plonk it down and it basically leaves the bales in a great big long sausage he does this with round bales and square bales. So you can have this big long sausage of bales. And it looks like they've got that one coming into the game. Now this is an entirely new game mechanic. A new machine with a new game mechanic that we haven't seen before. Which looks really cool. i I, I got to say, it does look genuinely awesome that we've got this. And there's two of them. Um, there's another one which is a round baler which also cuts. And this is not a normal baler. This one is for harvesting poplars. Uh, so you grow your field of poplars and then you go along with the baler and it cuts them and bales them all at the same time. 
again another fantastic new mechanic new addition new reason for using poplars it you know it might be horribly painfully slow like use that's what i was going to do next i knew there was something i was going to do next it might be horribly and painfully slow like using the um the sugarcane stuff right and there's a very good chance it will be we all know this there's a very very good chance that it could be horrible and painful and slow and yeah, we'll try it once and, and then we'll get fed up with it. Very much like a lot of people did with the sugar cane. I know that there are some people that like the sugar cane. But a lot of people find it to be a rather slow and tedious task. And so don't really bother with it. Unless they've got a modded machine that goes a lot faster than standard. However, it's got to be said that the sugar cane was, I thought, a really wonderful addition to the game. And very realistic as well, right? The, the, the sugar cane, the way they've done it is... is spot on for realism because actual sugarcane harvesting is not far off of what they've got in the game on the, when they put it on the estancia map it's um that, that, that's what you get in real life that's sugarcane harvesting it's a very slow and tedious task i've never done it myself but i have been told right a lot of people in the comments said yep that's what we do nope i'm not doing it in game i don't like doing it in real life so there's no way i'm gonna be doing it in game either um so yeah, it's um, uh, yeah. I, I thought that was a really wonderful thing. So the, yeah, yeah, the the, um, the the poplar thing might end up being a bit of a disappointment because it can be really slow. But at the same time, it's cool that there is another mechanic, another way that we can do it. There's a couple of new bale trailers coming, um, like the Arkizan. There's a couple of self-loading bale trailers. They look really cool, okay? There's some that stand upright and they leave the um, the stack stood up right where you want to stand it up. But there's another one, and this one handles the bales a lot more gently. It's got a load of rollers on the bed. It's specifically designed for picking up silage bales, wrapped, and yeah, round bales, not square bales. But I think there is one that also is designed for handling wrapped square bales. But this one in particular is designed for handling round wrapped bales, okay? And it doesn't just pick them up like the, the small Ursus that we're used to, right? We've got, at the moment, we've got, where is it? The um, the, the, the balers, the, ba the, the baling technology, there we go. Uh, you've got this bad boy over here, all right? This isn't really designed for handling round bales. It would rip them all up unless you grease the runners. I've seen people actually do that, um, grease the runners up a bit, and it does work. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's not really designed for handling wrapped bales because it can damage them a lot. Uh, but this machine, it's a lot longer, uh, much longer, and it's got this special sort of robot arm that carefully picks up the bale and places it over this side and it puts another one on that side so you get one on each side and then it picks one up and it dumps it on the top as well so you've got this it's in threes all the way down through and you fill this one all the way up and it takes something like 30 something like 30 bales i'm it, it, i'm sure it's about 10 bales long so you got nearly 30 bale or you got 30 bales in this thing maybe more than that even i'm not quite sure i didn't count um but there's details on the website. I haven't gone and looked at the Farming Simulator website yet to take a look at the full details of it. Um, but then you can unload it in, in the field or back at the yard, however you want, and you leave it as a stack. It literally just slides off the back of the trailer as a pre-made stack. You don't need to do anything else to it. And because they're wrapped bales, they can stay outside. It doesn't matter. It's absolutely fine. I thought this was wonderful. I think it's absolutely amazing. So you, you kind of, it's not quite a new mechanic, but a self-loading trailer for silage bales, absolutely wonderful. And then, so yeah, I, I was looking through this, I was thinking, wow, you know, this DLC genuinely looks amazing. There is some really, really top-notch stuff in here. It's really good stuff. And I'm really looking forward to using it. I think this is absolutely amazing. And then I went and I dropped below the line. Never drop below the line. I mean, come on. The rookie mistake. I dropped below the line. Though. I did. Hold my hands up. I dropped below the line. I looked at the comments. It's all hate. This is terrible. This is awful. I'm glad I'm never spending any money with giants again. What a complete and total waste of money. Your entire viewer base doesn't want any more rubbish European machines. We want big American stuff. That seemed to be a big complaint. So I'm guessing that a lot of the... I'm 
right, to, let me just clarify, I'm not bashing people from the US, okay? What I'm saying is that the complaint this time was for that. Because if it had been for big American equipment, then you'd have had the same haters, the same group of haters, but the other half of them, the ones that live in Europe, saying, we've got enough big American equipment, we want some decent European stuff, better bail handling, why don't you ever listen to us? I'm never wasting my money on this game again. It's always the same people, right? It's about 30 people. These complaints all stem from about 30 people. And if you... They are. They're, they're, they're always, it's always the same 30 people. It makes it look like this game is universally hated. Now, don't get me wrong. I know this game has got its problems. I know this game has got its issues. Right? And they are working through those issues. And as the mods come out, the game is getting better and better. But this happened in FS17 as well, didn't it? The game came out. Everybody said it was wonderful. Then everybody, once they got it, said, Nope, this is the worst game that has ever existed. I will never, ever, 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 ever buy anything from Giants again. And then proceeded to spend 12 months bashing it whilst playing it. And then said it was the most amazing game ever because of mods. And now it's happening exactly the same again. It's like... For goodness sake, guys. I mean, look, I, I get that you don't like the base game very much. I get that you don't like the base game maps very much. But change the record, please. If you want different maps and stuff, then make your own. If you want a different game, then go and play a different game because there's plenty of them there. Okay. Come. It's okay. Right? I'm not saying that this game is perfect. Right? We know that it's not perfect. There are issues. There's always going to be issues with the game. Could they have done some more testing? It's very likely that they could. All right? I accept that. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not, like, saying that this game is perfect. But what I am saying is that there seems to be very big steps in the right direction. And those steps seem to be leaping forward in, in like, leaps and bounds. And, yes, it's a DLC that's being released. But, yeah, okay. It uh, might not be to everybody's taste either. Um, this, I, I can't really say much else about it. I absolutely love the look of this DLC. It is, having seen all the different DLCs that have come out for the last uh, four years, I've, you know, I've kept a close eye on all of the 15 and 17 DLCs. Um, you know, like the, there's been previous ones where it's literally just looked like reskins of stuff that's existing in the game. Right, you go through and like, yeah, but we've already got that. Uh, that's that's just like a different shape of the same thing we've got. Exactly the same thing that we've got. This, yeah, we've got an, uh, we, we do have a, a trailer that um, it does take you along right in, in here. Okay, we, we've, we've got that one right there and we've got a slightly different version of one of these coming along in the DLC. Yeah, if it was just that, I'd be disappointed, but it's not. Right, we've got in the DLC, in the animal section, there is some much bigger TMR wagons turning up. There is some bigger ones of these that people have been asking for. The um, forage mixer, was it? Oh, you got the pre -mort. There was a, I think it was a round bale one that's been added in, people were asking for. Uh, but there's definitely um, a bigger TMR wagon, right? We've got a much bigger mixer wagon, which looks really good. That's something that people have been begging for is a bigger mixing wagon because it's increasingly difficult to feed your cows because the cows take a, a huge amount. Right? I haven't actually done cows yet, but I'm hoping to do cows soon. I don't have enough money. Um, 200 cows with a large pasture full. They take a lot of food, right? They take an obscene amount of food, 200 cows do. So a larger wagon, that's, that's something that a lot of people have been looking for. And and also with these things, with the new mechanics, um, the, the new ways of doing things, the bet, the, it, the, the bale handling and stuff. Um, with, admittedly, when you're doing the thing, the, the, the self-loading with the... Um, uh, we're putting the bales into this machine... It looks like you've got a. It doesn't self-load. It looks like you've got to manually load them all in with a front loader. That's the bit that's going to annoy me. But I don't know how close you've got to get them in order for it to load in properly. I mean, because it does sort of take hold of them and squeeze them in. Um, but I'm not. I'm not quite sure how much of it you're going to have to do yourself. So 
That's, I'm, I am curious how that bit's going to work out. You know what, I'm thinking that we could just fast forward time for a little bit and get some more egg. Let's do that, because um, we can have a contract running and fast forward time at the same time. That's actually okay. We can take this one and we're going to drive up to the top. Um, so we've got like this DLC that there's stuff coming in this one that we've never seen before. We've never had in any versions of the games. Some of which I've seen people like asking on forums and stuff. Oh, is there any modder that could make something like this? Because that would be so really awesomely cool. And now we're getting a load of these things turning up. And they look really cool. Like, they, they really do. I mean, I am hoping that it's all going to... It is going to work out fairly well. And it'll, you know, it may... Well, I say may. It will very likely have bugs on release. And then there'll be a patch that will be applied a week or two after release. And everything will be a lot better. And... We just accept that, right? We, we, we just accept that that's how it's going to be, and that's that's how it's going to work. So don't expect perfection on day one, but you could very well have perfection on day ten, right? You could have the absolute perfect setup on day ten, and that would be wonderful. I'd really like that. Now, I don't want to be buying no sugar beet fields. I ain't buying no sugar beet. I tell you that for nothing, right? That that ain't happening. But what I got right there is a hundred and two thousand dollars for that field, and that field there is a hundred and twenty-six, and that's a hundred and thirty, and that's two hundred. So we're going to start at this end, and we're going to buy our way back through. I'm hoping to be able to buy two of them together, but we'll see. We well, maybe not. Uh, I'm certainly not buying them today because of the whole sugar beet being in them. Uh, yeah. We're going to keep fast-forwarding time so that we get more eggs, right? We want eggs that the chickens, they should, well, I hope all the animals have got. Let's, let's just double-check that. They're fine. The horses are fine. And hay. Maybe I could go and, we ought to go and put a couple bales of hay in for the um, horses. We'll, actually, we'll do that in the morning. By the time we get back down there, it's going to be morning time. So we're going to go up this way and we're going to... Get down from here using my favourite method. This is if if this is the one that isn't quite realistic. Although you know, I I, I suppose some people could do this. Um, this is kind of the, the daredevil approach. We will bring this one on round over here. We need to go right off the end over there. We've done this before. It has worked. Let's see if we can do it this time. It's getting off of that bit there. Oh <laughs> no! I. <laughs> uh, that <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. We were supposed to soar elegantly for many, many miles. Not crash land like that. I have got yeah, I have got crop destruction turned off. Right, so our oats are ready to harvest. That's going to be the next thing that we're going to want to do. So we'll just um, bring our little Mahindra back over here. And, I mean, the roll bars are surprisingly strong on this one. And it's a good job we've got some very good straps on it as well. The, you know, the, the, um, the, the straps are holding us in. They make a difference. They do help us out. So we'll go up to here and we will go for... Let's go for 14 hours sleep. We get a nice long rest tonight. Um, our tractor is going to keep working overnight. That's fine. Our long rest like this means that we maximise the amount of um, stuff that is uh, eggs that are produced and wool and everything else. So we've gone another day. The eggs up here, we've got 5,000 litres per pen. There's uh, 2,000 there. 6,000 in that one. 939 on there. Horses. So, Oh, productivity. Wait. Why is that? Oh, it, it bugged somehow. I'm not quite sure how, but... Yeah, it is. It's kind of bugging out a little bit. Very weirdly. Uh, let me slow down time in it. We're 11 o'clock now. So we're down to 80,000. That's fine. Right, so it, it does seem to be going a little bit strange. When it switches over to the horses first, it's going to 99% on there. 
um, but it's because it's not switching over to this properly. So these three horses here, these are all on uh, four horses. Sorry, these are on 15%. And then we've got these horses here at 25%. That's uh, Miss Pelt, Nigel Pipe, Jamie O'Connell, Ivelios, and Charles. And then I've got three horses down here. Tonza, Zorta, Triple Seven, and Deuce MS, who are on 85%. So one more day, they will go to 95% and those can be changed. And these up here, yeah, so the first thing we want to do is we want to buy the next four horses. We've also got a harvest that we want to start, which we will start momentarily. Uh, you know what? Let's actually get this harvest underway. I'm not going to go around the edge at all. I'll go around the edge at the end. I'm not going to bother bailing this time. I'm going to leave that this time. Uh, I will unfold there and... I will bring that one out so that one's ready to roll like that. And we can squeeze through here. Yeah, no bailing this time. And I'm not going to... He says... Right, let's have a look. Uh, enable... No, I don't want to enable. So if I do that like that, I go up there just to get onto the end of it. Then I'm going to go round this way. And I'm not going to go round the edge. I'm just going to leave that going like that. There. And I'm going to press H and he's just going to go. I'll then go round the edge and I'll tidy up the bits that are left over right at the very end. I won't worry about it now. Because I've got other things that I want to do. Namely, I want to buy four more horses. So we've got four more names that we can add into here. And then in another day, we'll have three more that we can change over. So we've got those first four. So I want to move you and you and you and you over there. So there's 21,200. And then I want to put these names in. Now, of course, the other thing is that I've now got less food. We're still all right. The oats, fortunately, we've now got some oats turning up. These are going to make a difference. So let me just quickly put in the next four names. And Petra Gracemark. So we have got... Is I, I spelt that right? Yes, I have. Uh, so the next four names are The Good Gamer, Alex, Talleyrand, and Petra Gracemark. Welcome to the map, you four. So tomorrow we'll be getting rid of those three and we'll be adding in the next three names on the list. And we're going to keep doing this. I'm just going to keep working through my list of names bit by bit until everybody has been used up. And then we will obviously turn around and do the same again. All right. I'm just going to keep doing that. So I will just double check that you are working. You're doing a grand job. Very pleased with your progress so far. And we can now go whiz over this way. We're going to get that trailer quickly as we can and we're going to get some oats well i say we're going to get some oats i'm going to start heading up that actually uh, well, we will get oats now i don't think we're going to have time to do very much more after this because we are running out of time for today's episode so please as i've said extensively already comment section talk about the potential plans for this channel talk about it give me your views and opinions i want to hear everything about it we've already been over this extensively yesterday and today so i'm not going to go over it anymore right now but you know what i want to hear um i want to hear your honest opinions don't go telling me stuff that you think i want to hear tell me what you think of it that's what i want to hear okay because the only thing i'm interested in is what you personally think of it don't go trying to butter me up or any other such rubbish i'm not interested in that um if you have any kind of opinion on this if you don't if you, if you honestly if you if you really really don't particularly care either way and you'll watch live streams or you'll watch the pre-recorded videos put that in that's useful information i can work with it right every every bit of it i can work with it's all stuff that i can work with um but anyway, like I said, that's all I've got time for. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.